Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is adding pictures in Anki, which is very easy. Uh, so we, the last thing we were doing was working with this, and we'll go back to our decks. We'll see this Reddit test deck. Now we've uh, made this many cards, and we want to add pictures. So we've got the same window. Where we're going to generate these pictures, and what you can do if you find a picture you like on the internet, just grab it. Throw it in there. Drag and drop. Uh, this is a picture of Gatron's papules in Dermatomyositis. And so you could just say, patient has Dermatomyositis, generate a card, add that one. Uh, you could do the same thing. It's basal cell carcinoma. Again, drag and drop. Uh, you can see that right there with the little vessels. Obviously, a uh, basal cell the patient has cell carcinoma. A card that uh, Ewing sarcoma. It's not super easy to see, but you can see sort of there's an onion skin-ish appearance that gets described in in books. Uh, it gets described in first aid and pathoma, and this is I think this is sort of the example of it. Uh, and, but let's say you had a picture, like a uh, class, give you, your class has a PowerPoint and they have a PDF and it's got great pictures that you want to use, but you, if for some reason you can't drag and drop those, what you can do is just screenshot, you can screenshot this, so shift command three on a Mac, makes that sound, uh, go find it on your desktop, pull it up, preview automatically comes up for me, and then just sort of edit the area that you want, use command X to cut it, use command V to paste it, and you've got this you've got the image that you want there. Let's say disease is Ewing's Ewing sarcoma. So you've got that. Uh, that is how you would add images. Uh, one thing that it does take a little bit of time to figure out. So you can see uh, now we've got the new ones, we've got the ones that we've been learning. So you get this picture, patient has basal cell. Uh, patient has dermatomyositis. Uh, you can also use the same image and say the name of these lesions are Gottron's papules, or you can ask any questions about the pathophys. Um, so for this one, inflammation this is in this disease is mediated by CD4 cells. Uh, you could say the translocation for this tumor is, uh, or the common one is T1122, uh, and then you're back to this. And so now, I mean, we're all over, we're reviewing tons of different things, and if we weren't talking and we were just working, we could be doing it pretty quick. And the last thing I want to show you is some of the options. Uh, the options do get complicated a little bit on here. Uh, if you if you don't if you aren't familiar with them, but I think they're pretty easy to deal with. Uh, so if you want to change the options in a deck, we'll just change the options in this deck. Go to options. So we see. Okay, I never I change I always change this because it limits the amount of new cards you can add in a day. I always just increase that to an outrageous number. <coughs> uh, you can if you add new cards, you can show them in the order that you added them, or show them in a random order. Uh, I would always uncheck this, and also uncheck this. So we were at the new cards tab. You don't want to bury cards. You want to see. I, for me, I want to see them as many times as I can. Max number of reviews each day. Just pump it up to a huge number, so you can just review as much as you want. Uh, max interval modifier. I don't mess with any of the interval times. Uh, I don't. I just. Uh, I just do what the computer tells me. Uh, you've got these. A leech card is one that you quote-unquote, fail, so one that you would have had tried again too many times. Uh, you can just find here, and you can just jack this way up, so that's never an option. Or you can just, if that happens, you can just tag it only. Uh, nothing really in there. Some people add audio. I never do. Um, okay. Also, you've got preferences over here. And so if you stay up super late... Uh, so for me, this deck restarts at 5 a.m. Uh, so if I was studying at 4.55 a.m., I might be reviewing cards. But at 5 a.m., that deck turns over for the next day. And you can change this however you want. And then this is just some of the, some of the 
features that you can mess around with, uh, but I think that's about it. Let me know if you have any questions.